Hello Lily Potatoes, it's Lake Kate here, and to in today's video we're going to be doing a blended tutorial part 4. I've done 3 of these kind of videos, so if you guys want to go ahead and check those out, those will be in the description below. I did the head in the first one, the body in the second one, and the legs in the third one. Today we're going to be doing the fins right here, and probably a little bit of the patterns um, depending on how long this video is going to be. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy my content. And like this video if you guys want more Blender tutorial videos or more Blender um, practice videos, whatever you want to call them. Um, but let's get right into the video. Now the first thing we want to start off with is the top right here because if you take a look at this guy, he looks a little bit bald. So we need to add a little bit of detail in there. Um, so what you want to do is go up to add and hit mesh. Make sure it's on object mode so you're not in edit mode and the cube won't go with another cube that you've already made. Um, you want to make sure to hit S to scale it down and then go and put it like right here in the center or the very top of the head and you want to select there. If you want, if you guys want to make it a little bit smaller, you can do that as well. Um, this is what I do with the things that look like this. It's a bit easy. Um, so what you're going to do is, is you want to make sure that it's in edit mode now and then you want to drag your mouse over these two on the left. And hit E to extrude them. Make sure you extrude it a little bit down the face like this. If you want to, you can make it smaller, but I would just keep it like this for now and we can shape it on later on into the video. Um, so you want to do this also on the other side. Just fill up the sides over here um, with this so it will look like this. Um, now the next thing you want to do is make sure that these fit the lines right here. Like this kind of looks a bit bad, so we're going to fix that. And we're going to just go ahead and do that real quick. Um, there's not much to fix though. Now the next thing is quite simple. It's like the legs kind of. You want to go ahead and select the very top of all of these right here and hit E to extrude. Now it's going to look a bit weird but you can go ahead and do it halfway on there and then do it again. So then you have a little bit more dots to work around with. Um, they can be a little bit challenging having a lot, of more, a lot more dots and this is a little bit unorganized but um, this is the way I used to model. I don't model like this anymore though. Kind of. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> but I can show you guys the new way I model in another tutorial video. Um, but this is this different style. Like this is kind of for the new people on Blender. Um, and as you can see while I'm talking, I'm just shaping it. So it looks like this. Um, but this is for the people who are beginning in the Blender. So this won't be the best. But... If you guys want me to do it in the future where it's more of a, like a pro kind of blended tutorial, then I can go ahead and do this, but this is just for these starters. Um, so now that we have it a little bit shaped, we want to make it not too fat because it looks a little bit fat here. Um, whoops. As you can see, it looks a little bit weird and fat. So what you want to do is you want to either go into edit mode, which I would say go into edit mode. That would be a lot better for you. And go to the scaling tool right here. You can also hit S and Y and scale it down like that. But you can also use this if you don't like using those kind of tools. And I would make it this skinny, maybe a little bit fatter. It's just all up to you and what you want to do. If it looks a little bit weird, just shape it like it's supposed to do. Like you want it to be looking like. And then you can go and hit Control R and this little like line will pop up. And you can put this right in the middle. And this will help when you like smooth it out a little bit. It won't make it look too skinny and too weird. Um, but you can also use subdivision surface on this one. You don't have to. You can always just uh, hit A and then smooth them. And it kind of looks a bit weird. Um, but if you guys want to, that's probably, I think, the same thing as subdivision. But the subdivision, you can, like, connect them. Not connect them, but, like, move them a little bit better. So if you guys don't like the look, you can always go back to edit mode. And it's going to be a little bit different because, as you can see here, this is more like, you have to add more dots to make it more accurate. But it's not as accurate as the other one is, but you can always, always do this, so it will make it a little bit better. Um, so the next thing you want to do, so I'm, I'm out all over the place right now. So the next thing you want to do is make sure that, um, it kind of like that, but make sure that this looks like it would fit there. And if it looks a little bit weird, go ahead and shape it how you want to. Just don't make it too different than the concept. Or if you're just making one without a concept, that would be fine just to shape it, whatever. Um, as you can see here, now it looks a little bit better. Um, so the next thing we want to do is add the patterns onto the head. Because as you guys probably saw here, 
um there's like patterns on this and of course on the head as well um so we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna show you guys how to do that it's pretty simple um if you do do it wrong then you're gonna have to like i guess redo it or something like that but first of all what you're gonna do is hit apply for the subdivision surface and this will um allow you to have more dots but this will also allow you to add patterns and it won't look funky and if you don't hit apply well then it's going to look funky basically so you want to go and hit one on the number pad which is going to be the side view and your head should well you're not head but like your pattern or whatever the detail is should look like this and you want to hit alt z and you can see the concept and this is where the alt z stuff comes into play where it's a little bit helpful um, you want to hit K and then this knife will show up. What you want to do is you want to start wherever it is, but try to do it at one of the ends. Don't try to do it like right in the middle because then it's going to mess it up a little bit. And you want to zoom in so you can get it as accurate as possible and just click whenever you want to and it will shape it kind of like I'm doing right now. Um, and just do this real quick and hit hit left click. Yeah, left click to apply this. Um, so once you have it all shaped, you do not want to hit right click. Don't hit anything like that. All you want to do is hit enter and then they will pop up like this. So then it gives you an allowance to um, go ahead and make the, the um, shape. So what you want to do is whoops, you want to make sure to hit shift and drag your mouse and it will select these. Make sure to not do like one at a time dot because then you're not going to be able to redo it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to make pattern look good without making any weird looking thing and you also want to make sure i forgot to do this i always forget to do it is putting on mirror for this so you just like cut it in half put a mirror so then the pattern will do it but i'm gonna go ahead and um not waste any time so i'm gonna do the pattern on the other side if you don't have the mirror on that's fine you can do what i'm doing right now and it will basically look like a mirror maybe a bit different if you do it a little bit different um but it's going to make it so both sides you don't want to have just one side because that would kind of look weird you want to have both sides and i think this dot's not selected no it wasn't selected. and then and once you have everything selected and both sides are selected hit shift d and then click right after you want to make sure it's a little bit accurate well don't want to um let me get this dot again because i accidentally went too hard but you have to hit shift d and then click right after you hit shift d this will create a new um cube or whatever you want to call it and it will be basically another layer after you do that don't click out of it yet hit p and then hit selection and then it will make the cube a whole nother cube so then you will have two patterns but we don't want to do all that just yet and just keep it permanent you want to click on the pattern that you just made hit copy object and then hit Control Z until you um if it doesn't lag like it's doing right now. You want to hit Control Z until you don't have the pattern you made anymore like this, and you can go back into Tab and then hit Paste Object and it will be right there. So you want to make sure to go and Add Modifier and hit Spotify if that's what it's pronounced. And you want to make the thickness not too thick, but you also want to make it so you can see the colors. Um, I forgot I need to <laughs> I need to make this smooth. So go ahead and do that like I'm doing right now. You you can um keep it not smooth, but I would say keep it smooth because it would look better and it would give more of a look to it, basically. Um so once you have it, you I would probably say put it at this um 0 0.001. And if that doesn't work, you can always do like 0 0.005. Um, this will help it make it not too fat. That would look weird. And as you can see here, it does look a little bit weird. So I'm going to keep pushing it up just a tad bit until I don't see that anymore. So I'm probably going to have to do like, it's really weird. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to have to do like a lot of it. Just depends on it. Well, you can always like move it around. Um, let me move it up. All right, so oh maybe I actually I accidentally forgot to add this. Well, that's okay. Um, we don't have to worry about that. You can always delete it and redo it if you don't like it. But for the sake of this practice, I'm not gonna go ahead and redo that. It's just gonna be there. But this is how you make the patterns, basically.
So the next thing you want to do is, well, how are you going to color the patterns? Well, you can color them in Roblox once you export this, but I was going to tell you that you can also color it in Blender like I do. If you're going to showcase it and you just want it to be in Blender, you can always hit, um, it's crashing, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, you're going to want to hit right up here and then it's going to be all white as you can see right here. And you can just go ahead and click any of the body. You, you don't have to apply anything or anything and go to this little circle or um, spear right here and hit new and then it will create a new like color thing you can color. And I don't know why it's pink. Sometimes it does that. I don't know how to fix it. But um, you go ahead and go to the base color and then you this will pop up once you click right here. And you want to click this and then go to the concept and put the color in that you want to put in. And then it will look just like this, which is awesome. Um, for the patterns, though, it's the same thing, but you have to do both of them. So you can go ahead and hit base color and then select the colors that you want. And yeah, then it's going to look like this, basically. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the other colors in. Um, so basically you want to do that if you want to color it in Blender to make it more popped out a little bit. And I'll bring you guys back once I color it more. So now it has a bit of color as you can see here and we have the patterns right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the back and then stuff like that. And then I'll help you guys with the um, patterns on it so it doesn't look bland because as you can see here it looks a little bit weird because it doesn't have the patterns that it does on the concept. And it looks a little lame. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go speed this up. But I'm going to go ahead and add this back here on the legs, on the arm. And then I will bring you guys back and show you guys how to pattern. And a note, this is going to be the same way I did this over here. I'm just going to be shaping these guys as well the same way. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the pattern.
Anyway guys, this is it for the video. I'm sorry this wasn't like all the stuff I wanted to do in this video. I didn't do all of it. For next video, I'm going to be doing the body patterns. Um, I'm going to be doing the leg um, paddles or whatever you want to call them, fins, um, while I'm editing this video and stuff. So you guys can go ahead and do it. It's the same way I did these guys just on the legs. Like if I did the head, basically it would be on the legs as well. Um, next video, I'm going to be separating, filling, and making the patterns. and then. Maybe if you guys want me to, after I export it or show you guys how to export it, I can so show you guys how to rig it and everything like that. Um, if you guys want me to do that, make sure to comment below. But if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe and like this video for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!